Hi, I'm Marius from Emily's Photography and in this Photoshop tutorial we will take this black and white image and turn it into this image. Now we will be using a non-destructive workflow by using layers so that we can change the color in the image and also continuously change it while we are working until we get the desired effect that we want. Now everyone who's watching this video might not be on the same skill level of using Photoshop so if you're still a beginner or you just have more questions about Photoshop then please visit my website www.mwest.co.za and at the top you will see an option called shop you can click on that then you'll see a few training titles like for instance this one Photoshop C is for everyone which is beginners training video and I've also got one here for elements and then a more advanced one for Photoshop CS so if I for instance choose this one you will see it opens up with more information to tell you exactly what you will learn from this video and also a sample clip you can watch to see the quality of this title. Now you can buy it straight from the website, it works via PayPal and it's also immediately available to download. So let's kick off this tutorial. Now the first thing that we need to do with this image is to create a layer that will have the color that we want to start with. So let's start with the foreground which will be the sand right here. So I'm going to go to this half black half white circle right here in the bottom. I'm going to select that and at the top there's an option called solid color. I'm going to select that and now I can choose the color that I want to have on the sand. So let's go for maybe this yellowish color we've got right here. I'm going to say OK. Now you'll notice that we can see the yellow color but not the image and the reason for that is it's a solid color. The layer is obviously filled with this yellow color and the image is below it so we need to use a blending mode so that we can see the yellow color on top of the image now to do that you can see right here it says normal I'm gonna select that and then I've got a bunch of blending modes here now different blending modes will have different, different effects on the image for instance overlay will be a very strong effect like this and soft light will be a much more subtle look now I'm gonna go over blending mode of soft light now when you look right here on this layer you'll see it's got a white block here now this is the layer mask now what I need to do is I need to fill this with black to take away this entire color effect on the image and the reason for that is I want to paint in the color where I want it uh, the way it is now it's filled across the entire image so I'm gonna go to this white block and I'm just going to select it you'll notice it is now highlighted on the edges now to fill this white block with black you can just invert it by using the following shortcut so use your control and I I for invert on your keyboard by pressing control and I you'll see that this white block now becomes a black block so it's taking away it's nullifying this effect I cannot see the this yellow color anymore and that's exactly what I want because now I can use a paintbrush so yeah I've got my paintbrush I'm gonna select that and then when I paint on this it will now bring the yellow color in on top of this image but now you need to make sure as you can see uh, my color I'm, I'm going to be painting with now is black so it's the same as this so as you see if I'm painting I will not be able to see the color so make sure that this color is white and not black and you can change the colors here the foreground color by either clicking on this icon right here you'll see if I click on it, it changes or you can use the X key on your keyboard so when I press X there you can see it's jumping to black if I press the X again it goes to white now when I paint on this image you'll see that it's bringing the color everywhere where I'm painting now say for instance maybe you've painted too far you can just press X again to jump back to black right here and then you just paint the colors away again so that's why I said in the beginning we're going to be using a non-destructive workflow to get this effect done you'll be able to fix an error that you've made at any time during this um, project so I'm gonna press X again so that I've got this white block and then I'm going to use another very cool sh shortcut on the keyboard and that's your hard brackets so if I use the right hard bracket you'll see that my brush size is getting larger and if I use the left hard bracket the brush size the brush <laughs> size excuse me goes smaller so now I can adjust the size and until I'm happy and then I just paint over it now like I said, if you make a mistake like that you can just press X paint over it and you fixed it again so now I'm gonna paint everywhere where I want this yellow color to be now because this is just a tutorial 
if I do mess a little bit uh, around here and there, I'm not going to really bo be bothered about it because I'm only trying to show you how to do this. Um, if this is a type of work you have to do very slowly and very neatly to get uh, a very good looking end result, but that's just going to make this video an hour long. So I'm going to be going very quickly every uh, around the corners on some of this, like for instance this dustbin right here or this garbage bin. So I'm going to go as close as possible because I want to make the, the, the bin a different color. Now this is where the shortcut for the brackets or the bracket shortcut is very handy so I can quickly change the brush right here. I don't need to go clicking on option screens to get this done. I just use the bracket keys much quicker. And then if you zoom closer using your navigator you can also see if there are spots that I might have missed. Okay so far it's looking good. Right, that looks good to me. Right, so now let's choose another color that we're going to use for this bin. So I, again, I'm going to go back to this half um, black, half white circle. Select that. Go to solid color. And then maybe let's choose like an orange color. And again, I'm going to go to soft light. Now you'll notice that this orange color is now across the entire image. So again, I need to first invert this white block. So I'm going to select it, Control and I will invert everything. So I've basically nullified this layer. It's not doing anything until I start to paint with white. So now I'm going to zoom closer with the navigator to the dustbin. And let's just start working from this bottom section right here. Make the brush a little smaller. And then I can just paint over it that I missed a little bit. Just press the X key and just paint it back so that you can't see the orange there. This really makes it so quick and easy to do this. I'm not really going to paint on this black section. You won't be able to see anything there. But these sections right here, we can see the color very nicely. I can make the brush a little bigger. It's going to make it quicker to paint. And like if I do mess around the edges like that, it's quick to fix it. And I think that covers the entire bin. Now to fix the edges, I'm just going to make the brush a little smaller. And I'm going to press the X key to flip the colors again and then I fix the edges. Very quick to do. There we go. So now I can still um, use the opacity right here to make the the color either more subtle or using the opacity at 100 will make the color as strong as I can get it. Now the nice thing is I can now select for instance this orange block here and I can double click on it. And now I can use the, the, the color selection right here. And you'll notice every time I choose a color it changes right here. So I can now find you and I can even make it blue if I really want to. It's not working, but I can change it at any stage. I can change the color right here. I think the orange color actually looks pretty cool. So I'm going to keep it like that. Now the next color we want to do is we want to do the water. So again, we go to the half black, half white circle, select that, choose solid color, and then let's choose a nice soft blue or maybe like a cyan color and then again soft lighting and then control and I to invert that um, layer mask and then zoom a little closer make my brush a little bigger and then make sure that we are painting with white by using the X key to flip the color palette right here and then we start to paint in the water Now you might be wondering how will you be able to change this 
project at a later stage. Now, um, if you haven't used a lot of layers in your image, when you work with layers, you need to save the image as a PSD file. Now, PSD is a Photoshop document. And the reason for that is that it's going to save all the layers that we've created. All these work right here. It saves everything. So you can, at a later stage, no matter how many years it is, you can go back to this image and you can change it again. Okay, I'm sure I'm definitely messing some colors around there. But like I said, this is just quickly to show you how to get this done. Now I'm going to flip my colors with the X key. So I'm painting with black. So I can fix the section right here at the top. There are little sections where I messed a bit. And then we can start to work on Cape Town's city lights. And right here, which be behind all these clouds, is Table Mountain. Okay, that covers the water and again like I said you can use your opacity to either make the water a little more softer color or you can keep it 100% or you can double click on the color and now change the, the water's color right here. I think we can maybe make it a little bit more darker blue. I think actually that looks a lot better. Right, so now for the city lights. You guessed it. Again you go to the half black half white circle. Select that. Solid color. And here again we're going to use yellow. And then for this maybe overlay. So we got a very hard looking effect or soft light. It's a little more subtle. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with overlay for that. And then again we must invert this block so that we can paint in where we want that color to be. I'm going to zoom very close. And then I need to make sure that my colors here are correct. I need to flip it over so I'm painting with white. And then make the brush a little smaller. And then we're going to start to paint. As you can see, this is actually a very easy way of really having a lot of creative fun with your images as you can bring in. You don't need to use this only for black and white images like I'm doing with this one. You can have an image which is, which is a full color image and start to bring in colors on certain areas. And you're going to use the exact same method I'm using on this one. So there are lots of creative potential with this. Okay, now I think I'm going to keep um, t Table Mountain dark and mysterious like that. But I'm going to do something dramatic to the clouds. Now before I'm going to do that, I think I'm going to drop the opacity a little on this color. Or maybe just change the yellow. Because I think this yellow and this looks a little bit weird. So let's just make it a little bit more whitish. Not as extremely yellow. I think that looks a lot better. And now for the final section, we do the clouds. Um, we're going to go to the half black, half white circle, go to solid color. Now to think of a color that we might use for that, let's just start with blue. I know it's going to look terrible, but I just want to start with a color. And then again, soft color. And then I'm going to go to the white block, select it, control and I for invert. And then I'm going to use a much larger brush by using the uh, right hard bracket and just quickly paint on these clouds. This is a very quick one to do. I think I'm messing a lot around this corner, around the section right here. I'm going to quickly fix that again. Just make sure I get all the clouds here. I'm going to zoom closer, make my brush a little smaller flip the colors of X. I'm painting with black just so I can fix the section on the water. And then the section here on Table Mountain. 
because the blue color on the mountain doesn't look that nice. Okay, and we're almost done. I think we then need to play around with the colors because I'm not really sure if this blue color is doing it for me. Okay, then I'm just going to flip back to white so I can paint this as close to the mountain as possible. By using this the layer mask, it really makes it so easy to go back if you've made a mistake. It's it's a breeze. Right, so I'm going to zoom out, and there we've got our image. Now let's play around a little with this blue color, and then maybe make it a little softer blue. Or maybe choose maybe a more cyan color. Well, let's go for red and see how dramatic that can be. Because obviously we can make this image as unnatural as we want to. Maybe this actually works. Hmm, I think I'm going to go with this. And by when I'm happy with the color, I'm just going to choose OK. And then, like I said, you can still go to your blending modes. And you can use different blending modes. So there, for instance, is a blending mode of Darken. you have got Multiply, Color Burn, Linear Burn. Different blending modes will give you different effects. But I think I'm going to go with soft light. I'm going to keep it on that. And I'm even maybe going to drop the opacity a little. So that we can bring a little bit of the black and white through. So it's not as orange as the color we chose there. And then there we've got our image. Now, like I said, the nice thing is we can change this at any stage by changing the colors right here. And then we can also, by using the layer masks at any time, fix something where we've spilled the color a little. It really makes it very easy to really add some dramatic effect to an image by doing it like this. Now I hope you had tons of fun by following me on this tutorial and if you want to see more of these videos please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of this effect and then I'll see you in the next one.